So I haven't been to the hut for a few weeks now, so I'm just filming myself walking into the site. Uh, first time I've actually been here in three weeks, so I'm hoping that it's all still there and nothing's been touched. So here we are. Oh yeah, that's interesting. So yeah, it's looking like it hasn't been touched, so that's pretty good. First thing I noticed though, wow, look at that. So this is the dirt that I put up on the first part of the walls, and I did this in the first video, I'm pretty sure. And now, it's growing moss on it, all there, and that's dried up uh, at the top there. So that's interesting. Um, other than that, it's still looking pretty good. And there was a bit of rain the other day as well, well, over the last few weeks anyway. So, the river should have cleared out some of the algae, so we'll check that out. Oh, and there's a lot of mushrooms that have sprouted out just here. That's pretty interesting. Oh yeah, there's still a bit of algae in here. We'll have to wait till the big floods until that can get out of here and be washed away. But nah, it's looking pretty good. So the plan for today is to go back over the river again and cut down a lot more of these straight saplings so that I've got the other half of the roof and then I can cut them to that size and then I might lay them on, see how it fits together, see if I need any more and then uh, I guess in the next video, because I haven't got much time here today um, I'll be able to tie it together somehow and then make a start with the flax So. That's the plan for today. I've also um, got my GoPro here. So, yeah, I'll be able to use that if I need to. Here I am with the GoPro. Um, I'm in the river right now. And it's a lot colder than usually. And I've been waiting until I could do this with the GoPro and just put the camera into the water. Um, here we go. So here they are, the saplings. Now I have to cut them to size. So from the saplings, I've cut eight equal lengths there. And I'll probably need to get another 10, maybe 12 for this roof. But as well, I've found this piece here and uh, put it onto the front uh, post, I guess. And that's just this is basically where you walk in anyway, so um, that's just a little support beam, I guess. It's not really held in there by anything else. Um, but yeah, so I might need to go and get some more. So I've laid most of them onto the roof, and that's how it's looking. But these ones here are the uh, half lengths, which are those ones. And then these full length ones, they're all quite bendy, so, well, when I lay them on they're not straight, so they'll bend down and they won't fit on properly, so I'm not sure what I'll do with them. Um, but nonetheless, this is how it's looking from inside. So it's pretty cool from under here, looking straight up. And then there's this side here. So obviously there's still big gaps that I need to fill. And I'll need to go over, get some more saplings, 
couple more times, I'd say. Uh, these pieces, I'm not sure what I could use them for yet. Uh, I could find a way to put them on the roof, and that'll save me having to go over to the saplings. But I could even use them inside. Um, so what I was thinking, as soon as I'm putting all the mud up on the walls and that's drying, I can also stick sticks um, like this one here even through the bamboo, just like that and then have the mud obviously encave it and then I could layer them all across um, in a line and that could be like a little shelf or a little seat for me to sit on or something like that so I can consider that for them um, but yeah also these pieces of bamboo especially this one here um, they are absolutely flawless like with no cracks in them so I could, this is what I'm planning to do, to do anyway, I want to put a little hole in this side and uh, then I can fill it with water and I could use it to, you know, carry water around, even drinking water or whatever. Or I can use this really big one here and I could fill that with a lot of water if I, um, if I cut through all of the nodes, like one two three and then I left the fourth one then I'll have quite a lot of water um, storing capability there but yeah so what's the time it's three o'clock right now um, I can probably go down and get some more saplings and then I'll update you once I've done that So I'm just curious with these uh, mushrooms here, because um, I quite like mushrooms, but I'm not sure if these are edible or not, so I'll just pick one, take this one, and we'll have a look underneath it. Um, yeah, I don't actually know how to tell if they're edible or not. Um, these ones don't seem to have much flesh on them. Seems to all just be, you know, that fan part underneath it. Apart from the stems, yeah, there's not much meat on them, so probably shouldn't um, eat them. If I did eat them, I'd cook them anyway, but nah. Probably not the best idea, but anyway, yeah, I'm going down to the saplings right now, once again, and I'll be back and I'll show you again once they're on the roof. And now that daylight savings is over, here in New Zealand, as you can see, uh, shadows are growing bigger and the sun is lower in the sky, the days are getting shorter, so it's actually uh, 20 past 3 right now. And as you can see, it's getting pretty dull. The sun's pretty low in the sky. So, yeah, I don't have as many daylight hours as I did before daylight savings. So, yeah, I might, that might limit my time down here a little bit. But I'm sure that'll be fine. Plus the fact that I have to bike 10Ks to get here. But I'll persevere with that for a little bit longer. And, yeah, because I do like this project and I have got a lot of other things planned and I'd like to get them done. So, yeah, i got to keep coming down here. And just while I'm thinking about it, um, it'd be awesome if I could get some suggestions uh, from any of you uh, watching these videos. If, you know, what I could do, what other projects I could build. Um, yeah, I'm just exploring all the different options. Uh, I've got a plan of a couple things I want to do, but then there's a lot of other things um, that maybe you guys might want me to do, and I could give that a go. So, yeah, just leave a suggestion if there's anything you'd like to see me do, and I'll go through them and maybe try a few if I can. So, yeah. So I just got these two uh, insanely straight 
uh, pretty tall saplings. So I'll cut these up and they should provide a good number of sticks to, to um, put on the roof. So the hut's starting to look really good now, it's almost complete. So basically I've just put all those sticks on top of there and that's how much of the roof I've done and so I've got a little bit more to go with that. And then the rest of the sticks, the ones that were too, or well, not straight enough um, to go on the roof, I've laid all the small ones out there and then the bigger ones there and I've also put all the other sticks that I use on there basically just to keep them off the ground um, from getting wet and rotting faster so that's gonna help them hopefully and they're just supported by two little tiny sticks that go through the bamboo on either side so yeah next time next time I will be completing uh, the roof with saplings so I'd say I need to get um, about 20 more maybe, or 20 more cut, like, cut sizes more before I can finally start cutting flax and putting that through it and I can't wait until then. And if everything goes according to plan, that should hopefully be tomorrow.